Getting a case denied is something that myself personally takes very seriously. The firm is a lot of times very devastated because one, I mean, I hold the firm and I hold myself to such a high standard. So denials, they come in. I mean, thankfully, it's not a lot, but when it does come in, you know, it's devastating. And sometimes it's out of our control. Either the client didn't reveal something to us that they thought that they needed to share. Sometimes it's as simple as they can't get a divorce document from their home country or they can't get the right entry document to show that they had a legal entry into the US and the case gets denied. Or sometimes there's a misrepresentation that they didn't even know that they made at the visa stage and now they're doing their green card. Of course, there has been a small percentage of time where it has been our fault and we're very upfront about it and we try to do everything to rectify. That doesn't happen as much now, but in the past it has happened. And what we would typically do is either refund the client or try to redo the process at no cost. But no, if there is a denial, 95% of the times it's because we were caught off guard by something that the client didn't share with us or the client didn't provide a certain type of documentation to us and then there is a percentage of the time where USCIS gets it wrong and that is when you see me turn into a monster because I know when we are right and we prove it right and then they have to overturn it.